From the CAL FIRE Information Center, I'm Scott McLean with the CAL FIRE Report for Monday, August 26, 2019. Last week, amid yet another week of triple-digit temperatures, California firefighters saw a steady flow of new wildfires. In total, 202 new fires started statewide across all jurisdictions. Of those 202, 164 were within CAL FIRE's jurisdiction. Switching over to the statewide fire map, you can see that there are currently four active wildfires with most of those in Northern California. Let's take a closer look at a few of those active fires, starting with the Mountain Fire in Shasta County. The Mountain Fire started on Thursday, August 22nd, north of Bella Vista. Within just a few hours, it grew to 600 acres and led to evacuation of several surrounding communities. However, thanks to the aggressive initial attack by firefighters, the mountain fire was kept growing any further than the 600 acres and residents were able to return home relatively quickly. The mountain fire currently remains at 600 acres and is up to 95% contained. Next up, another fire started yesterday along the California-Mexican border again. This one is known as the Border 10 fire and is burning along the area east of the Ote port of entry, about a half mile south of the border. The Border 10 fire did cross over into the U.S., but firefighters were able to quickly stop its spread at 20 acres. The Border 10 fire is currently at 75% contained. And lastly, we have the Long Valley fire, which started over the weekend off of Highway 395 north of the Hallelujah Junction. That fire is being managed by the Bureau of Land Management and according to the latest update is currently just over 2,400 acres and is 50% contained. You can find more on the Long Valley Fire by visiting INCIWEB, that's I-N-C-I-W-E-B dot N-W-C-G dot org. As we move into this week, hot and dry conditions are expected to continue across the state with temperatures 5 to 10 degrees above average, I believe in Northern California up to 107. Those temperatures and the humidity are expected to return a little closer to normal in Northern California as we enter the weekend though. But Southern California will remain mostly unchanged. Additionally, late Tuesday and into Wednesday, and maybe even part of Thursday, we are expecting thunderstorms and high winds with gusts up to 35 miles per hour over large portions of Northern California. With the vegetation as dry as it is and continuing to dry out, the chance of those thunderstorms sparking new, large fires will be greatly increased, so we all need to be very careful. This weekend is Labor Day weekend coming up, and we're expecting to see many people heading outdoors to enjoy the three-day weekend. And with the continued hot weather, waterways like lakes, rivers, and streams are expected to be a major draw. But it's important that you take steps to keep your loved ones and yourself safe when visiting these waterways. One of the most important steps is to wear a life jacket. A simple, inexpensive life jacket can make all the difference in keeping a day of fun from turning into a day of tragedy, which we've seen so much this year. With more on the importance of wearing a life jacket, we've teamed up with our friends at California State Parks to produce this short video. Hello, I'm CAL FIRE Battalion Chief Amy Head. And I'm Information Officer Adeline Yee with California State Parks. We recommend that everyone wear a life jacket at all times when near, on, or in the water. But especially make sure your kids wear a properly fitted U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket. I don't need it, or I can swim, or I don't feel like wearing it are all things heard when told to put on a life jacket. Each year, hundreds of drowning victims were reported as not wearing a life jacket. If you're planning to head out to California's waterways this summer, wear jacket can greatly increase your chances of survival. Be sure it fits snugly and does not ride up over the bottom of your child's ears. Never use a life jacket that's too big because it may slip off easily when wet. And just by following these few rules, you can ensure a safe and fun time with your family on California's waterways. And as Captain Cal says, safety starts with you. For more information, visit parks.ca.gov and fire.ca.gov. For more tips on how you can stay safe around the water, be sure to visit our website at fire.ca.gov and the California State Parks website at parks.ca.gov. 
And that's the latest on the fire situation in California. I'm Scott McLean. Stay safe.